Hi guys, Dan here from KPS Digital Marketing. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to talk you through how to find customers on Twitter using Google X-Ray Search. So what you're going to learn today, first of all, what Google X-Ray Search is and why you should be using it. Next, how to create a private Twitter list full of customers to target on Twitter. And then how to use Google X-Ray Search to find target must customers to add to your private Twitter list once you've created it. And then finally, what to actually do with this list once you've created it. And that's all about engagement, which I'm going to talk about in a second. So, first of all, what is Google X-Ray Search and why should you be using it? So, Google X-Ray Search is a search used in Google to get specific information from a specific website. In this case, it will help identify Twitter lists full of customers in a specific target market. And then once we've identified those customers in a specific target market, we then need to, um, it's then going to be part of a targeted Twitter engagement strategy, which I just spoke about. So let's go over to Twitter now. So first of all, the first part of this exercise is you really need to understand who you're trying to target, because we're going to be using that information throughout this tutorial. So let's get cracking. So first of all, we're going to create a new list, going to lists, and then we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. These are just lists that I'm part of currently. So go down and then create a new list. Now this is where we really need to know who we're targeting as I mentioned. So for me, I target Kent businesses. So this is going to be the focus of today's tutorial for me. But obviously, whoever you're targeting, you can tailor it to that group of people. So the list name, I'm going to put Kent Businesses to Target Descriptions Businesses I will target. Right. And then very important that we want to make this a private group so only we can see this group. Nobody else can. Then we're going to Save List. Brilliant, so we've created a private list now which we're going to start adding connections to. Now, we're going to leave Twitter for a second and we're going to go into Google and this is where we're going to use the Google X-Ray search to find people to add to the list which we've just created. So, this here is the Google X-Ray search we're going to use. Now, it may look complicated but you don't need to understand it, you just need to know how to use it. So what this is doing, it's telling us to search, telling Google to search Twitter for lists of a certain criteria. So in here, you need to enter criteria to do with your target market. So in my case, I'm obviously targeting Kent businesses, as I mentioned. And what this will do is bring up a, huge, a large amount of lists created from other people which are focused on Kent businesses. Um, but if you're target, obviously you, you, you're going to be targeting different people to me probably, so you need to think about search terms to do with those people. So it could be residents of a specific area, so it could be Kent residents, or it, if you're, for example, a an estate agent, you could be targeting landlords, so you could type in here landlords, and that's the kind of gist of it. So we're going to put that search term. Now, the Google X-Ray search has brought up lots of different lists here which you can look into. I'm going to go on this first one here. And what this is, is telling us, this is a list of Kent businesses which a public list is a public list made by Kent Crisp. So they've done all the hard work for us, they've created a list of people who are in our target market. There's 235 members which is great. So click on the members. What that will do will give us a list of all the people who are part of this list. And these are all Kent businesses, the people who I'm trying to target, which is great because I need to try and find these people. Um, so let's have an example here. So, Big Motoring World in Kent. That's a business in Kent that I could look to target. So what I want to do is add this to our private list. So I'm going to click here on the settings icon, add or remove from lists. Now I'm going to tick the business I want to target, uh, the, sorry, the, the list which I want to add this account into so Kent businesses to target now they won't be notified by this it's only me that will use this and then um, I'm going to click enter oops sorry oh no they're already in the list sorry I've already added them into this so let me add someone else Ian Wheeler plumbing 
add or remove from list, Kent business to target. Enter, I think that would add them in there. Right, let's have a look now. So if I go back into up here into lists, and then scroll down, there you go, Kent businesses to target. Now the, uh, the two people who I've currently targeted are in this list, so it means any tweets or information from them will be coming up in this list and it will, the idea of list is to kind of unclutter Twitter so this is just a list focused on my target market and the idea is to add lots of as many people as you can from your target market into this list now we've got the list here once you've created the list and try and add at least 30 40 50 as many as you can into the list we want to the next stage of this is to start engaging with these people to really build the know, like and trust with these accounts and with these different people. So what we need to do now is on a daily basis go into our list of target target customers and have a look at their, their Twitter and then start engaging with their content. And what I mean by engaging with their content is doing things like favoriting their tweets, retweeting their tweets, commenting on the content they're uploading. And if we're going to do start doing this on a daily basis, these businesses are really going to start um, kind of seeing our brand and start to think, oh, these guys, you know, they're actually liking my content, they're sharing my content, they're speaking to me. And when they do need, for example, a digital marketing specialist like myself, I'm going to be the one that they're going to go to because I'm there always kind of keeping my online presence uh, very high with them and building that relationship and that rapport with them. So on a daily basis, I'd go to my Twitter list to each individual account, uh, let's have a look at this one. Let's have a look at some of his content. Uh, so, uh, let's have a look, go down. So, there you go, favorite that. And I won't do it now, but I could even do a reply and a comment on that. And do that on a daily basis, start engaging with their content. And you're really gonna build up that, as I said, know, like, and trust with that specific company. Brilliant. So now we've done that. That is what we need to do on a daily basis. So let's just go over what we've learned today. So first of all, you need to outline your target market and understand really who you're trying to target. Then you're going to create a private Twitter list, um, which you can start filling up with these, these specific uh, customer segments. So then that's the next step. Use Google X-ray search to find target market lists. So Google X-ray search will help you find specific lists focused on the people you're trying to target. Then I showed you how to add these potential customers to your private list. And then the final part, which I spoke about, is to engage with your target market list on a daily basis. So favorite their content, share their content, speak to them, engage, and basically engage with them on Twitter so that you can really get your brand out there and start building that rapport. So that's the end of today's tutorial. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can see my latest tutorials. Thanks again, guys.